vlogging on my camera again. I forgot it existed during the move. It was put somewhere and then yesterday I just remembered I had a vlog camera so I decided to you know vlog on my camera again. I just feel like it feels more professional. I still have to get used to not staring at myself in the viewfinder and actually look in the camera. Shane and I are going to get ready and go for brunch now. We haven't left the house in a very long time. We decided to go for brunch today and then on the way back we also have to stop at the grocery store and get some groceries. Today I cleaned out my entire closet. Those are all bags that are being donated. Literally made so much space in my closet now. More than half of it is gone. But I take that as an excuse to shop. The one of the main reasons of my clearing out my closet was that nothing fits me anymore literally nothing and I've had like I've been holding clothes for like three years obviously I was a lot skinnier th three years ago so I had to get rid of a lot of clothes because none of them fit me anymore feels good to have an empty closet because I also was just running out of space and there was no place to hang anything anymore so this is the dress I'm wearing for brunch today it's from summer somewhere I also have these really gorgeous pieces of jewelry from carrot lane that I'm going to choose from to match my outfit today these pieces have such an intricate design with the most gorgeous packaging. It's also 18k real gold with real diamonds and is 100% hallmarked. They also offer a one year replacement warranty and they offer a lifetime exchange of old designs so you can always upgrade your jewelry whenever you want. For this outfit I'm gonna put on this necklace first. I'm also gonna put on these earrings. I think they'll go so well with this necklace. I'm also gonna put on this really pretty ring. I think this jewelry goes so well with my outfit. You guys should definitely check out their jewellery, the link is going to be in the description box. I'm going to move on to my makeup now and then we're ready to leave. So I've not been doing that well lately. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Seasonal depression gets really real at this time. I feel like this weather, like I just need sunshine to be happy and I don't remember the last time I saw the sun and my mood kind of is like related to the sun. So when there's no sun, my moods are also really horrible. On top of that, I'm also I've also made some changes in my anxiety medication. So that's not been the best at the same time. Like seasonal depression plus changes in my anxiety medication that's causing a lot of side effects. Like I've been just super tired and not wanting to do anything. And I wake up really like I've been having bad sleep and all of that. I also feel like in this kind of weather when it's so just gloomy and whatever, it's really hard to feel motivated to like do anything. So my motivation's been at an all time low. I literally just have no energy to do anything. I just want to be in bed and watch movies all day because it's just that kind of weather. And it's been a really long time since I felt like low like this. It's which touch wood like I've been doing pretty well otherwise but this last like few weeks I would say since monsoon started it's been a bit hard to function and I think it's especially sad when you have like mental health issues and you've been doing well and you know you've been at a high and then suddenly you hit a low it's very like demotivating and it's very like off-putting because you've been doing so well and then suddenly it's like all gone and you're back at like your low point and the thing about being at those low points is it feels like you're not gonna get out of it which obviously you are but sometimes when it feels that low it feels like you're really not gonna get out of it which is also one of the reasons Shane and I are going out today he he loves the season I hate it but thought it would be a good idea to get out of the house and like do something so I don't spend all day like crying in bed or like moping in bed anyway my makeup is done just did some really light makeup I'm also just gonna leave my hair tied I think just because it is so hot outside but this is the final look I love this dress love the jewelry i feel good and we can finally get out of the house we just left brunch dad picked us up on the way to the office so we're dropping him to the office and then going to nature's basket and getting groceries for the house you want to say hi papa hi okay <laughs> We 
are back home. I changed into PJs. We have a grocery, so let's do a quick little grocery haul. I got two of these fab box makanas, one chaat flavored and one pudina flavored. Also got some gluten-free bread, got some eggs, got some natural French yogurt because it's really yum to eat with mangoes, some dragon fruit, some multi-grain bread. The gluten-free one is for me, the multi-grain is for Shane. Got some onions and potatoes. Also got some mozzarella cheese, some feta cheese. Also got some fat-free dahi and one protein bar for Shane. And I also got some frozen salmon to make and some parsley spice. And that's it. We also got these really cute little boxes for garlic, onion and potatoes. So I'm just gonna put all of these in there. I'm just gonna make dinner for Shin and I. I'm just making the salmon that we bought today and I'm just gonna do like potatoes on the side. I'm gonna start by cutting the potatoes. Now I'm gonna prep the salmon. And now for the lemon butter sauce. I'm just gonna do my skincare and get ready to turn in for the night. I know it's a bit early, but honestly with this weather, I just wanna be in bed right now. by far the best rosé wine I've ever had. It's the yellowtail pink Moscato but I'm just gonna have a glass of wine and turn in for the night so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.